What's up you guys? Thank you so much for tuning in yet again to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kolisa Sugar. Ndaba, yes. Sugar, yes. That's my nickname. <laughs> also my name now. Yeah, everybody calls me Sugar. And if you are a returning subscriber, hi. Welcome back, sweets. Thank you for coming back. <laughs> so today I will have a chit chat get ready with you guys. I just thought, let me just talk and talk to you guys. <laughs> yeah first things first i'm not gonna use a primer because it's just too hot today and i don't want my makeup to be cakey because i do have semi dry eye so i'm gonna take my trusted clicks at post cream it doesn't really have a smell because i feel dry you guys well first i use it on my hands i wash my hands by the way i never do my makeup with dirty hands because i'm just scared of i'm a gems i'm a gems i'm a gems and I have eczema popping up on my face. So if you just get too close, you will see it. But I don't want to, but I do. You see this? That's not cute. And it's, it goes all the way like this on my face like this. So yeah. But in any case, let's get started. Foundation. I'm going to take my trusted Mocha Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Foundation in the shade mocha so how are you guys it's a bit red when you see it firstly but it blends out just fine so it's not a a biggie dealy anyways i was asking i hope you guys are okay like i didn't ask how are you guys doing my dirty no judgments here okay my dirty uh kuboogi brush from modern dolls okay let me start here because i need the coverage most on my chin 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 I love how this brush blends foundation like it's not like for beginner I'd suggest that you buy a kubuki brush if you want your foundation to blend out seamlessly without you worrying about streaks and cakiness and uh, more coverage to the side and less coverage to the side get this I highly suggest it look at that blend guys this brush you magic you know magic magic oh my goodness wow that blended perfectly oh my goodness i love that brush i don't know which i love more the foundation or the brush but the foundation has a bit of a painty smell to it if you're a person who does not like that kind of smells but all in all i think it's bearable it doesn't smell throughout the whole you know it fades out after application well for me yeah so i'm gonna go in to highlight my whole okay the high the highlight the places that i want to bring forward to my face with the la girl in the shade toffee i ran out of fawn and i'm not okay <laughs> i'm not coping you guys <laughs> i love fawn so much anyways i'm gonna take my concealer brush and just repeat that i just squeezed it to, from the tube thingy to the brush i don't know why i like to do that i just like to do concealer with my brush because I feel like it paints it better before I blend it. Does that make sense, you guys? I don't know. Uh, yeah. I do not highlight uh, my the lower. What you call it? Lower. What's this? my lower jawline anymore to accentuate my cheekbones because i feel like it it, it it comes out too harsh and what i love about makeup is that you can create something an illusion that's not there like but without trying too hard with it you understand and i feel like if i contour or highlight my cheekbones it gives it this harsh contourness like i don't like makeup that looks like you were trying so hard i just like a flawless base you know so that's the kind of look i like lately so i'm just gonna blend this in then yeah i'm gonna blend this in with this uh beauty sponge i found at uh this kim so soft so good i'm gonna start with my bottom lash line Ok, 
okay my eyes tend to crease a lot so i'm just gonna set this real quick with my triangle uh sponge from this cam also my eczema is showing through like <laughs> so bad Like I can see it and as much as the base is nice and uh, gonna be nicely set and blended but it does show through like the lot of bumps and stuff uh. and I am I do have a chubby thingy that they gave me at the chemist it's just that I ran out so I gotta get a wrap wrap some more before I never like to leave my setting powder too long because I'm just afraid It'll do damage. <laughs> I'm just joking. Not damage per se, but it'll just do more cakiness. And you don't want a cakey feel because you get bored of makeup very quickly. Not even bored. You get tired of the makeup on your face during the day quickly. If you feel cakey because your skin is uncomfortable and you're uncomfortable. I feel like if you could just laugh one huge haha, it'll crack. And that's not cute. That is not cute at all. There you go. Love that base. Oh my god. Now I'm just contouring with my black opal. This video was supposed to be a chit chat getter with me. <clears throat> and it feels like a tutorial. <laughs> Why does it feel like a tutorial? I find it so uncomfortable to talk about myself. I don't know if you guys experience that too. Like whenever I have to talk about myself, I just feel so uncomfortable. I feel like I'm letting people too in into me and my thoughts and I feel like ah, I can't do that. Maybe that's why I'm single. Maybe guys like really. I just I don't feel comfortable talking <laughs> about me. Why? anyone happen to me and i get instances where uh I, I do let out sometimes and i do talk or i open up to people that maybe previously i didn't open up to and they were like i'd be like <coughs> sorry this part i went down to my throat and they would say what you're so fun why don't you just open up more you are friendly and you're nice and stuff like that and i'm like i don't know i'm not comfortable with that but any guys, I don't know if I'm fun or not. I think I am. But I think I am, sister. At first, I'm very observant of people's personalities. I don't know why I do that. I always check. Like, I always check who's okay and who's not okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to be, like, opening up to someone who's really not into, you know, being friends or whatever with me. And, yeah, this thing of being reserved is just not gonna work out <laughs> and i'm gonna put on some blush you guys and you know my blush i swear if you have mastered your base doing your makeup can take like less than 15 minutes like fast fast you know what i'm saying let me just do some coral blush for this beautiful cheeks these cheeks are from my grandma you guys are like wow thanks yeah boom i am like so I recently shaped my eyebrows with my, uh, what you call this thing? Shaving cream, yes. I feel like it's just way better than razor and stuff. I know they look a bit weird, but I just like the shape because I know I can fill in the shape. So yeah, let me do that. I draw the little light like the light lines not little light lines and I did the brow just to brush it up to shade the uh the, the the front brow a little bit but also not too much normally this is how I just draw them and go like if I'm not too if you know if I don't want to be too fussy I just don't even clean them up on my bottom uh guys my thingy broke like I don't understand anyways I was saying that I don't uh, conceal them 
on underneath if i just want them to look you know not too done because i like i like being cute but i just don't like feel like i don't want to feel like i i tried to be cute <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but yeah, that's how I like to look and feel. Purposes of the eyeshadow that I want to do, I am going to clean them up, just not too harsh. Because I want the eyeshadow to pop, so I want the brows to be neater. And I'm going to drag that out after I draw on the side again. Clean up, brother. This is always my favorite brow. Always. I try with this one, but this one is always my favorite brow. And it's on my right. Yeah. So if you compliment my brows, just say, Oh, your brow, your right brow looks good. <laughs> and I'll believe you. <laughs> so... Um, for the eyeshadow, I'm not sure. I wanted something pink. But not too pink. Let me just decide then I'll come. And I am back, you guys. So this is what I came up with. Uh, it's a I don't know if it's a halo or spotlight eye, but it's the uh, spotlight or halo eye that Mario did on Kim for the Met Gala, but it was brown and I did it on my channel, I think. Yeah. I'll insert the link. To that video down below i've just been feeling the less stressful eyeshadow looks like no cut crease no smokiness and stuff and i just want to chill you know i want the eyeshadow to chill and i want the face to chill <laughs> so this is what i came up with i'll insert the picture that inspired this look here i like it like it now let's redo it this side so I'm just gonna go in with concealer with my concealer buffer brush all over my lid firstly just to create a nice base for this um, eyeshadow look and don't worry it looks scary right now but then I'm gonna take my sponge beauty sponge and just blend it in perfectly there you go everything is better with a beauty sponge there you go firstly firstly i went in with this color right here let me swatch it uh it's a bit deeper than that that's a horrible swatch sugar yeah there you go <laughs> i went in with this color from my uh, do factories eyeshadow palette on my outer and my inner well yeah inner outer thing yes i'm gonna pack this eyeshadow right there not going too high because I don't want to lift it to a point where I don't know I can't blend it do you understand yeah so as I was saying you guys I really wish I was one of those open people like my sister's very open you guys like the minute she enters a room she's about talked about uh, she's talked up to about everybody in the room and I'm the one who's like uh, I'll just wait a minute and some people say like you being uh, I don't know what's the word and it's not that at all I wish I could explain it's like that I, I, just, I don't know whether it's fear or what <laughs> but in any case it's the problem that I have I wish it was just more open because I feel like once I've opened up people are like oh my goodness you're a cool person don't be like be reserved or whatnot at first because you know you're a cool person to get to know and stuff like that but i'm like that ain't making me feel better girl not at all <laughs> so i'm gonna blend this out with another eyeshadow this uh dupe uh Huda beauty the other day at uh what's that online boutique i'm gonna insert it here i forgot it and I, i'm gonna blend this purple out with this color i wanted to take this eyeshadow because i was fascinated with the shimmer shades like are you freaking kidding me but today is not the day for the shimmers but we definitely coming back to it definitely but i did use the shimmer this shimmer for the middle eye so yeah yeah this uh nude palette here i'm gonna take that color and blend out the purple into the brush i'm just gonna tap it a little bit because i don't want a lot i don't want to really erase the purple but i just want to help it blend out you understand 
yeah so I'm just using circular motions like that blend it out I don't want it to overwhelm the eye also with too much eyeshadow so yeah you guys maybe someone here was once like me you know you were shy and a bit reserved what made you come out of your uh, shell because and as much as I'm comfortable in my shell I don't want to lie and say that I'm not and I want to be but I also want to just get to know people because I feel like I'm one of those people that believe that you don't know everything in life and if you're not associated with some people or people that are knowledgeable to some stuff in life you will never know because you closed off you know and I don't like that I don't like that feeling at all a lot of eyeshadows <laughs> for this look I'm gonna take this pink but I'm just gonna tab a little guys a little goes a long way here a little bit of it and blend out also the other fuchsia color that I blended the purple with and it's this is my uh, also bought at the same okay let's do this yes now you can read it tap it out a little bit because i chose a smaller brush because i've found that when i watch youtube youtube like um what you call it beauty youtubers here who like eyeshadow like tiffany makeup tiffany j they always use a small blending brush and i'm always like how do they use the small blending brush but now i understand because it doesn't like overwhelm the whole look but it just keeps it where you want it and i also let me just do that right quickly also took this brush and dipped it into a flesh tone color well not flesh tone really flesh tone my flesh tone but somewhat close to my flesh tone just to blend out and set also the concealer right on top of my lid and also blend out the purple i mean the pink so that it doesn't really you know reach my brow kind of situation tap out Oof. and we just did this blend out the purple there and also just faded out the pink near my eye because it's not supposed to reach that far so i'm going to dip in uh this purple with this black color yeah this is black guys i like eyeshadows that have black eyeshadow and that they are black not gray black eyeshadow that is black <laughs> i'm gonna take that into my inner corner and my outer corner again because i want to dip in that purple right there i'm just gonna place it like this i really don't really want it to overwhelm anything that i have done already on there place it then blend it later i feel like that technique helps me out a lot like place it first then blend it out because immediately when i go in with the brush that i wanted to play or pack on the eyeshadow with and blend the eyeshadow it just overwhelms everything in here and everything frustrates me and i want to just wash my face and continue with life yeah so then take again the small blending brush and blend it to the purple and also dip it in to the purple just to help blend out this purple black because really the, the eyeshadow shouldn't be black black but we do need the black like we do first time for the shimmer i like how it is on top i'm just gonna take the same concealer buffing brush and just go along this line and when i reach on top here i sort of like fan it out like this sort of like in a tree type of shape like it is this side because i don't want it to be just a straight up uh, shimmer color so i'm just gonna lightly help this concealer shape do what i want it to do and then right on top blend it out with your finger because you don't want a mess yeah there you go i feel like that's perfect then we're gonna take the shimmer shimmer that shook shook, shook me and as uh tamara would say shook it so my middle part <laughs> i'm gonna take the shimmer and go all ham oh my goodness i forgot firstly i placed this one and i i was like oh it's too light then on top i just placed this one let me just do exactly what i did on the side so yeah like that oh yeah that's the color it came up with and I only uh, put it halfway up 
and I was like oh let me change the colors and maybe put the pink one right on top of the one and I was like no I like the other shimmer <laughs> more I'm gonna take my brush back in again and just place that right on top and for the top part like here I don't dip the brush back into the palette because I don't want um, more product on the top part of the halo but I just wanted to fan it out a little bit I'm gonna take the eyeshadow purple eyeshadow brush that you packed on the purple first fluid in and just help these um, shimmer color in the middle blend it out the edges a little with the purple and this is how it came out you guys I love it I absolutely love this halo eye now I'm just gonna do my bottom lash line black eyeliner purple eyeshadow black eyeshadow pink eyeshadow exactly what we did on top we're gonna do on the bottom Uh, now I'm done and now I'm just gonna do my mascara before I pop on my lashes I just put glue on them they're getting tackier set my face with my NYX matte Woo! Defines. and with this look I feel like too much highlighter would be just too much so I'm just gonna dip a little bit crown of my canopy just for a shimmer not a highlight a shimmer like as you see it yeah that's all i'm gonna do i feel like the look is just dramatic and line my lips with black today and i don't know i don't ask me and there you have it you guys this is the final look it came out super good super great loving it you know i'm really loving it i think i'll do more of this eyeshadow uh techniques more because it's just stressful to have a hooded eye in the makeup game let's just say that but in any case thank you so much for watching please do leave me a big thumbs up if you're feeling this look and this whole chit chat get ready with me and thank you so much for tuning in i mean for watching till now super grateful for your love and for your support and also leave me a comment on how i can deal with my shyness or introvertness whatever it is ness you know <laughs> i'd love to hear from you guys on how you guys overcome those things and um is this mascara did you hear mascara mascara <laughs> In any case, thank you so much and please do subscribe if you haven't already. I do come up with a video every now and then. Yeah, so thank you. See you in my next upload. Love you for your support. I love you guys.